Hey guys, welcome back to the park of us. So, you finally got your hands on a slick new desktop, but the home screen looks a bit uninspiring. Well, today we're going to change all that. We're going to transform your Windows 11 desktop into something truly spectacular. So, say hello to my Mac inspired professional Windows 11 2024 setup. So if you guys like this one and want to see another follow up desktop setup, make sure to smash that like button and if we hit a score of 80 likes, I'll make sure to bring you guys another custom desktop setup with even more pizzazz just like I add in every time with my Android home screen setups. And as always, if any of you guys want to grab my live wallpapers, you can do so from my very own epic live wallpaper app. And of course, make sure to visit the request section where you can also submit your own wallpaper requests. Alright, let's dive into the setup. We're aiming for a clean Mac inspired professional look transforming our Windows taskbar into a slick dock like interface as well as grabbing up a quick access iOS style panel which doesn't just look good but is packed with popular widgets showing you the week's weather, giving you quick access volume and brightness controls and even displaying some system stats. Plus on top of all of that it keeps all of your most used apps just a fingertip away. Oh and don't worry if stocks ain't your thing I'll be sharing some alternatives that you can try out right at the end. And did I mention this setup includes an epic female warrior backdrop which also brings with it this halo style music visualizer and as icing on top there's actually a second one these bars. Now by default your windows setup probably looks something like this cluttered with icons and just basic. So let's switch things up, starting things off with our taskbar. Now here we only want to house our bare essential apps, so for anything you don't want here, just simply right click the icons and hit unpin. And as for adding things in, we're going to actually come back to that. So once you've removed the apps, let's also remove those pesky Windows 11 built in ones such as the widget section and this task view icon. For this, just right click on the taskbar and head into the settings option. And once here, just simply untoggle these three options. Now while you're here, if you notice you have a ton of app icons in your system tray in the corner, you can actually toggle these off within this section right here. Or alternatively, you can manually click and drag them into this additional hidden area. Next up, let's switch up the bright colors of the default windows look. For this, from on the same window, just simply search for theme. Now here you can either select from the preset color palettes or you can just use one as a base as you tweak things up. Here the main thing to take a note of is the fact that I've applied a custom orange color to match the taskbar to the backdrop as well as toggling on the dark mode option. Everything else is totally up to you guys. Now that we have the basic themes up, let's make that final yet the biggest taskbar aesthetic tweak. For this we're going to use the app Store All Back. This is going to give us that dock like look. Just install it and bam, you should instantly notice a change. This application has a ton of tweaks and customization options which means that you want to fully take your time and explore to really fine tune the app. But the basics that you want to set are on the welcome screen selecting proper 11 under the taskbar option, centered task icons, setting this to segmented. And before we move on, make sure to adjust this option right here, setting it so everything's held together. Now under the start menu to simplify the area so it's not so cluttered, just simply toggle off some of these options here. Such as for me, I don't really use the music folder, the videos or the pictures so I can just remove those. Now this application does come with a prolonged trial period so you can fully test it out but even after it expires, you only get this unhappy face so it's totally up to you if you want to purchase it or not. Oh and before I forget, to add in new apps to the taskbar or the start menu, just simply right click on the app icons and then hit the appropriate option, totally up to you. Next up, let's grab ourselves this awesome music reactive female warrior live wallpaper. 
For this, we're going to need the software Wallpaper Engine, which is a paid program, but take it from a long term user. You're not going to regret this one time purchase at all with literally thousands of wallpapers right at your fingertips. I'm sure you're going to find more than just a handful that you guys are going to love. Now this you can purchase straight from the Steam store and once set up, you should see a screen much like this with your currently installed wallpapers highlighted. Well, simply put, if you guys want to grab any new wallpapers, just simply head over to the discovery tab. And once you do actually have a wallpaper you like, just use the subscribe button to add it to your installed collection. It's as easy as that. Now the name of the wallpaper here is Katana Girl with Hologram. But I'll leave a direct link for you guys down in the video description below. Just load up the link while you have Steam open, click on the subscribe button. And maybe after a quick reset of wallpaper engine, it should refresh your list with the wallpaper added in. After which, from your install tab, with the wallpaper selected, there's quite a few different tweaks that you can actually make with this one. So you can adjust how it fits on your screen, the positioning, filters and much more. Having said that, it does come with its own clock and even a music indicator. But because they looked a bit low quality, I'm going to leave these off. Now once sent, anytime there's audio playing, there's going to be that Halo visualizer automatically active. So finally, our desktop itself. For our iOS star panel, we're using the application Rain Meter. And more specifically, for the theme itself, make sure to download the Big Sur pack, which I'll be leaving a link for down below. And whilst they download, let's declutter our desktop. Now the quickest way to do this without manually adjusting your desktop app icons is simply by right clicking on the desktop and under view toggle off the show desktop icons and poof they're all gone all right now that we have rain meter installed by default it would have loaded a couple different elements to your screen so we want to remove these just simply right click them and hit the unload option next up extract the compressed big sur theme head into it and run the big sur file followed by the big sur 2024 weather fix cool now that we have the basic sound, let's wrap things up with the home screen elements. Now at this point, you should see the Big Sur Pack welcome screen. Here, make sure to turn on dark mode, 24 hours, and turn off the default wallpaper because we're going to be using our own. After which, you can choose from two default looks. Here, we're going with the one on the left. And just like that, you should now have a bunch of widgets and icons loaded to your home screens. Now here's a quick rundown. To move any of these, just click and drag them. To remove, just right click and hit close. And for some of these, they even have some alternative looks. Just right click and hit alternative. And finally, to add in some new elements, just use the plus icon to pull up the Big Sur menu. Here, you will find even more widgets, app shortcuts and more. For that white background and the bar visualizer, you will find these within the extra tab. Oh, and of course, to adjust the overall size of all of the icons and everything together, just head into the settings section and increase the DPI. Yeah, for my screen, I went for a setting of 125%. So once you're done manually positioning all of the home screen elements, there is a couple minor tweaks that you're going to need to make. So with the clock and news feed, right click it, hit settings. And here, we want to disable the news option and make sure to hit the tick. For that white rectangular backdrop within the settings, there's a couple different options, such as width and height, which we're going to manually adjust. So just feel free to play around with the numbers until you find something that matches your monitor's display. Now to get the weather widget working, from Google, just search up your town or region and using its longitude and latitude, just copy these numbers and paste these into the weather widget settings section. Oh, and here you might want to adjust the weather widget's units as well. Now, finally, for the bar like music visualizer. Now for this one, because it does work with a slider, just feel free to copy my settings right here. Oh, and once repositioned, to make sure you can always click on the star menu without the bars being in the way, just simply right click them and within settings, make sure to toggle on the click through option. But bear in mind, if you do want to toggle it off, you need to head into the Rain Me and management system. Now, as for the space on the right hand side of your screens, you can either fill this up with even more macOS style icons and widgets, or an alternative you can check out is B widgets which does have a couple different alternative widgets that you can use. But for me, I've recently grown quite interested in stocks. So here I'm using the app Stock Desktop Widgets. Now, if you guys like this video and want to see even more like this, make sure to like and subscribe. 
and why not check out some of my Android customization videos. See you guys next time on Into the Parkiverse.